Listen to me, unless you number one in your industry, you shouldn't be chilling. And if you number one in your industry, you got enough common sense to know you better not be chilling. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and Every single day, somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave 120, what you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know, get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they paid for, and it ain't free. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. The Bible says he was in a pig pen and he came to himself and he went home. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got all the stuff. You got, you got it all. But you will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-parent background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. On your jet, you will not outwork me. In your Bentley, you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me. Get up! Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Compete! That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Go to class. I just left the school telling these kids. Act like you playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. Some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here, and I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I ain't leaving. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this opportunity. I get it. You don't punish yourself. Somebody said, eat you losing weight. I punish myself. I don't eat meat no more. That's a punishment. Because I remember when I was eating meat, I didn't look like this. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up when you don't make the 203 a day? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. You, you gotta hear what I'm saying. The reason why you broke is because you're getting a reward and you ain't working. I'm not scared that some kid's gonna take my spot. If he does, he's gonna have to do it with sweat. He's gonna have to do it with tears. He's gonna have to do it with blood. He is going to have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. If he can get up every day at 2.30, he deserves to take my spot. Some people are taking your spot and they shouldn't take it, but because you're average, it's easy to take your spot. It's easy. It's easy to get to the place before you get there. It's easy to take that client before you get to him. It's easy. It's easy to beat you. Why? You average. Everybody wants to be a beast. Until it's time to do a beast. There's nothing that can stop me because my motives are pure. And the pure your motives are that you guarantee yourself success. When you're doing stuff for yourself, you can't guarantee it's going to blow up. And no disrespect, but this is why I need you to get your, your motives have to be pure. This is why. Because what happens is for each motive, it's a, a different level of energy. And some of you, you have like big dreams, but your energy is like a triple A battery. Your battery got to be able to push that dream. If you got a big old dream, but you got a small engine, you're not going to be able to push it. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, I watch most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. I'm walking through the airport running almost. I, most people that I'm with, they don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. It's just, you just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take two, 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain.
Say, what do you mean, E.T., you recycled the pain? I turned homelessness into a book. I turned my father not being in my life to a book. I turned an estranged relationship with my mom into a book. I turned being homeless into a book. I turned being a high school dropout into a bestseller. And not only do they sell it in America, they sell it across the world. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? My son, my daughter, they drive me. What drives you? And this is why I'm telling you. Because if a house drive you, you sweet, you gonna get one. Then what you gonna do when you finish? It's what she said. She blew this business up and now she don't, she don't wanna do it no more. You know how hard it is to blow a business up? You know how many people wish they could do what she doing? But yet she finished with it, why? Cause that, that, didn't, that, that thing was not strong enough to drive her. The Nobel Prize, that'd take me forever. I picked something that would drive me for the rest of my life. You doing, you doing it cause somebody else told you to do it. You wanna drive a Rolls Royce cause everybody else drive it. You want to live in that house because everybody else living in that house. Like you got affirmation problems. You, you're not doing it because you really want to do it. You're doing it because you want to be affirmed. Let me tell you something. That's a great place to start. But when you get to your root, it's a whole new level. Take all your energy for the dream because you're going to need it. And so if the second thing I can teach you is for every dream you have, take at least a week or 30 days and write down every single thing that it's going to take to make it happen. And I want you to know something. After you write everything down, you still have not written everything down because you don't know what's going to happen. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you wasn't ready. But if you ready, ah, uh, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. If you stay ready and you stay plugged up when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You got to touch. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You got to be possessed with the dream. Listen to me. Once you realize who you are, you stop operating in desperation. You stop saying yes to stuff you ain't supposed to be saying yes to. So here's my big problem with a lot of y'all is your belief system is off. Like everybody can see how sweet you are. People are commenting on well, you could do this and you could do that. And you the only one ain't caught up with it yet. T, why you always on beast mode? I'm shocked more people are on beast mode. There are people who live from check to check and they comfortable. It's the weirdest thing to me. I'm like, boo, you broke. And you broke on several levels. We're not talking about Sally Mae, you still owe your grandma. I'm talking about, you need to cash your grandma out.